many of you remember seeing the movie 2001 Space Odyssey? Well, there was this creepy sounding robot by the name of Hal who was playing chess aboard a spaceship with its astronaut. All right, and so that movie came out in 1966, and 30 years later, in 1996, the first real world robot made by IBM by the name of Deep Blue beat the human champion at chess, Gary Kasparov. Now Moore's Law was tagged by an Intel scientist who early on recognized that the computing power of our computers was doubling its capacity, its speed, and its ability every 18 months to 24 months. Deep learning is the capability of computers to learn information. So let's think about yourselves. Imagine that everything you've ever learned in your life stayed with you and that it was instantaneously recalled in a second's uh, notice. Wouldn't that be awesome? Our computer systems are not only able to remember every piece of information fed into them, but they are now able to share that information across the board. One of the things that we'll be looking at in the future that you'll be thinking about is the future of drones. And we'll see that people will want to have their landing pads. And uh, recently, uh, the American Red Cross assisted people in um, war-torn Rwanda by sending supplies via drones. A child was rescued uh, using a drone and taken to a hospital. Using drone technology, you can show them what it feels like whether they're on the first floor of a building, the fifth floor of a building, or the 15th floor of a building. You can help them see where doors might be or how furniture might be arranged. And not only do they actually see that as an experience, but because of augmented reality that we have, they could actually see birds flying past. They could smell what it smells like for the cedar to be burning in October. One of the top features that realtors are saying that their customers are asking for are the features of having a smart home. How many of you are designing smart buildings and smart homes? Every hand should be going up. According to the book Inevitable, written by Kevin Kelly, he says that every space that is flat in the very near future will be space that will be available for smart technology to be embedded. Or as you've seen in sci-fi movies, they can be beautiful pictures of the beach or the mountains or whatever your favorite venue is. This technology is borrowed from two different industries. And the first is gas and oil. Gas and oil industry have had to maintain uh, pretty strict monitoring on gas leaks. And the reason behind that is because if there is a gas leak of a certain magnitude, it has to be reported to the federal government. And then there's lots of investigations about why it happened. So they have instituted a variety of monitoring devices hospitals and institutions and, and universities across the world looking at how can we create self-healing materials. So you can go on YouTube and see a variety of materials that actually you can, you can cut, you can puncture, and the properties within them can begin to heal themselves. So there's a, a, a number of ways this is done. You can do it through nanotechnology, where nanos are programmed to deliver the compounds necessary to fix the fracture. But 3D food processing is nothing more than designing ex exquisite intricate, complicated structures quickly and easily using software. So these are beautiful waffles. It doesn't bake them for you, it simply designs them. So again, if you have a smart home, you can say at four o'clock, please uh, pour out those uh, cookies, these beautifully designed cookies that I'm going to take to my book club meeting or the parent-teacher conference. Uh, there's 3D printed corn, uh, there's a 3D printed lobster. Now, the ramifications for the 3D lobster is that restaurants often throw away or dispose of food that is not usable because of what is taken out of the shell can't be consumed because it's not in this beautiful piece. And you can take all the leftovers of any course in the, in the kitchen prep and um, use it in a 3D food processor to remanufacture. So there's no waste in 3D printing.
A general home weighs three to seven tons of materials. And this is one of the reasons that 3D printing is becoming more and more popular. The other term that you'll hear for 3D printing is additive manufacturing. And all of that wood, that drywall, the insulation that's left over, all of that stuff ends up in our dumps as we talk about driverless cars and the impact on architecture right now. Please recognize that 10,000 baby boomers are retiring every single day. Because of the forecasted cost of insurance that will go up due to driverless cars, because see, 92% of all the accidents are caused by what? Driver air, distractions. Most people will, won't have cars in their garages anymore. They'll have an Uber or a Lyft app or something on their phone, and the car of your choice will pull up immediately when you want it. Now, I know my engineers. I had a discussion with them recently, and they're like, well, we like to drive. Well, maybe, but there were people that liked to ride the horse and buggy. They're not around anymore. <laughs> Trust me. Contact us now to check Bernadette's availability.